Today I'm going to talk all about the Shark hair dryer and diffuser. So I'm going to give you my really quick review of the product and talk about the pros and cons. Hi and welcome back to my channel. I'm Delilah from The Holistic Enchilada and on this channel I share tips, tricks, and resources to help you embrace your curls and keep things simple. You can head over to my blog holisticenchilada.com for lots more free content, resources, downloads, and more and subscribe to this channel for more video content. All right, so let's talk about the Shark hair dryer. Right off the bat, I'm going to come out and say that I really do like this hair dryer. I did not like the price, but I purchased it when it was on sale. So I think it came out to around $150, give or take a few, maybe $160, something like that. Now, if I paid full price for it, I don't know that I'd be as happy. I just feel like while it's really great and it's got a lot of benefits, it's not like it sped up my drying time or it really made a big difference to my routine. I wouldn't say it's that much worth it for the regular price, but for the sale price, what I paid for, I think I'm, I'm happy with it. I think it's a good value. Previously, I was using the Extava, which is this hair dryer right here. They don't make this anymore. I don't remember what I paid for it. And I had the Black Orchid diffuser, which I love and I still love and recommend this diffuser. I just bought these together. I think it was around $100 or so at the time. It was a couple of years ago. But I do prefer the Shark dryer and I'm gonna get into why that is. So let's talk about the features of this dryer. So the dryer itself is pretty small and it's really lightweight. I love how it's just not like this heavy thing like most of the hair dryers are. It's very quiet compared to my other dryer. So you've got several buttons. On the back side, you've got the heat settings. You've got three settings and then the fan setting, the speed. So you've also got three settings. This is the on off button, it goes up and down. And this is the cool shot button. So you would just press this for cooler air. You can see the design here. You can see it in my hand, the size. I mean, it's really, it's really nice. The cable, I love. It's a nice quality. It doesn't tangle up and get in the way. It's pretty thick, but it's got like this nice non-slippery material that they made it out of. And then it's got the little Velcro thing to like wrap it up if you're gonna put it away, travel, whatever. It also came with this silicone grip pad so you can lay it down on a surface and it won't slide around and when I purchased mine a free gift was a bunch of these little clips that you use to like get ready and stuff it came with like eight of these or something I don't know way more than I would need and then I got the one that came with the diffuser so the diffuser itself is really cool it's deep enough that my long hair fits in here the kind of like the teeth in here you can actually bring it in and this says it's for shorter hair and styling your ends so you can see it doesn't stick out as much and then if we slide it over to the one that says longer hair and reaching roots you can see how they stick up and out and so here you can see it so I actually find that I'm using it both ways because it does really help, especially when you push it out all the way to use it on the roots and to kind of do this thing and get the roots lifted and off. It's really good for that. And when I push it in to work on when I'm doing like the underside and stuff and I don't really want to like poke myself with it, it works really well for that. For the ends, I do still use it out all the way because it really helps my hair coil into the diffuser bowl a lot easier. But maybe for other people, that's not the case. But it's really easy to use. It's a really great shape compared to the Extava Black Orchid. You can see here, they are very similar in size. I think the Black Orchid is just a little bit bigger on the inside, but it's just barely. They're nearly the same size. The Black Orchid has like the big holes. This one's got a lot of smaller holes, which is supposed to be better. And so let's get into the benefits because I showed you all the features and there's reasons that these things are good. So first up, with, in regards to the holes and stuff, I find that this diffuser doesn't blow as strong as any of the other dryers that I have tried. So I am finding that I use it on, I can do the medium speed when I am first 
starting to diffuse so when my hair is still wet and I'm just hovering, doing underneath, I'm like kind of diffusing like the root area like this, I can and do like hover diffusing, I can use it on the medium speed. But once I start getting the ends into the bowl and pushing it up, then I bring it down to the low speed so that it's not really blowing anything around. And the good thing is that when I'm pixie diffusing, typically I have to turn the dryer off when I'm done with a section before getting into another one. But because this one, it doesn't blow as strong, I don't actually have to turn it off and I can leave it on the whole time, which is one less step. It's kind of a pain in the butt to be on off, on off <laughs> as you're pixie diffusing. So I really like that. I don't have to do that with this one. Another thing is that this one gets really hot. So I've talked in the past about not diffusing on cool air and I would never, still don't recommend diffuse on cool air. I mean, they would just take ages. But I always use high heat with low speed. And with this hair dryer, I am using the lowest heat setting because it gets so hot that even if I have it on the medium, after a couple of seconds, I can feel it on my scalp like it's actually starting to hurt. So this gets a lot hotter than other hair dryers, which can be a pro or a con. I don't know, if you've got a lot of heat damage, I'm not sure. I would definitely recommend using a heat protectant if that's the case because this is definitely getting hotter than any of the other dryers I've ever used. But I've never had like a super premium dryer. This is definitely the most I've ever spent on a dryer. This is the nicest one I've had. So it gets really hot and I can't ever see using the highest heat setting. Maybe if you were straightening your hair, typical people, not us, <laughs> they would use it because it would work. Lowest heat setting and the lowest speed are working really well for me. Now as far as drying time, I alluded to this a little bit earlier, my hair on average takes about 10 minutes to diffuse. I used to have one of those like $20 Revlon hair dryers that I bought like 10, 15 years ago with the um, diffuser thing that I used and it took about 10 minutes then. I upgraded to the Extava, which was a much nicer diffuser, so my hair was easier to style, but it still took 10 minutes to dry. With this one, it still takes 10 minutes to dry. So I have heard so many people talk about how much faster their hair dries when they use either this diff this hair dryer or the Dyson, which is even more expensive. And um, I cannot say that that was my experience. Maybe it's because I don't have a lot of hair to begin with. It doesn't take very long to dry, 10 minutes, not a long time. Some people were diffusing for an hour. So maybe if you've got a lot of hair, it would make a difference. But if your hair's like mine, pretty fine, thin, and your dry time is already not that quick, I don't think it's gonna make a difference for you. So drying time, the same. However, my curls are drying with a lot less frizz than before. And I think that's because it's not blowing as strong. And so it's keeping the clumps intact. So it's just not drying with as much frizz as it used to. So I really like the way my hair is coming out. I'm also getting more volume because I'm able to put the teeth out and do the whole thing where I just kind of push it around and do that on my root area and so that is helping me get a lot more volume than I used to get and it stays longer so I like the way my hair comes out better with the shark it's easier to use it's more lightweight I like the functionalities the way that they place the on off switch is really nice because I can just hold it the whole time like this and if I need to go on off very easy to do that as I'm styling my hair whereas with the other one you always have to be flicking and you're like which am I changing the heat setting am I turning it on and off there's no um, confusion with that and then the way the buttons work on here I mean it's just a really nice sleek design very easy to use and it did come with the straightening piece which is I don't even know what this is called <laughs> this one has two versions of airflow so there is precision style which I don't know if you can see the arrows and then if you oh so this thing goes in and out and then if you um, push it down it says pre style I'm not a hair straightening expert I don't really know what that means everything just pops on pretty easily on and off very solid construction so I'm really happy with it now Shark has a bunch of other attachments and accessories to go with this hair dryer, but for the purposes of drying my hair in its naturally curly state, all I need is the actual dryer and diffuser bowl, and I'm good. So overall, 
I very much like this dryer. I do recommend it. If the price is something that makes you hesitate, then I would think about what you want out of a hair dryer. Is it worth it if you're one of those people that has like an hour long time to dry your hair and you want it to dry faster? If that's worth the cost, if the value is there, then definitely I would recommend it. If you want a dryer that's gonna last you a long time, if you're looking for something that will dry with less frizz, less airflow, then this is definitely one that you would want to consider. Before you ask me about the Dyson, I have not tried it and I will not buy it because I cannot spend that amount of money on a hair product. I just can't. If they ever reach out to me and want to gift me one, I will happily try it and I will report back to you, but I would never spend that much money on a hair dryer. It's just, this is obscene enough as it is, but it was accessible to me at this time. So that's why I decided to try it and share my thoughts with you. My diffusing routine using it is still pretty much the same as before, but if you're interested in seeing a video that shows exactly how I use it, I can film that for you. Just let me know in the comments if there's enough interest, then I will go ahead and film it. It's just not that different. So, um, and I recently did a diffusing video, so I don't know if it's worth my time. You guys let me know if that's the case. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and got some value out of it. If so, please hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.